guys don't kill me i know it's been a while since renovation vlog too but today i am finally back with the third and final part of this series on how i transformed my brand new house into a home if you've been following along on the journey then you know that we have done so much work in the half bathroom and are pretty much done with the floors in the entire house we added some new light fixtures and this gorgeous fireplace wall is also complete and so is the kitchen besides a few finishing touches it's finally time to tackle the master bathroom which turned out insane so let me show you how we wrapped up my renovation and give you a final tour of my updated home what's up guys today is bathroom demo day we are finally starting the whole master bathroom project which is pretty much the last phase of this entire renovation and i'm so excited to be finally seeing the finish line so let me show you what the bathroom is looking like right now all right, before we begin the demo, I just wanted to show you what the bathroom was currently looking like. The shower needed to be taken out. I was gonna replace this tub, get rid of the countertop and paint the vanity, add new mirrors, and just transform this bathroom. And this was the inspiration that I gave my contractor. So on demo day one, we pretty much took the mirrors off of the wall. I keep saying we as if I was doing any of the hard work, but this is my contractor and one of the guys on his team. And they basically started taking the mirror off of the wall and just gutting the shower. As you can see, they took off the shower door. They're also going to get the tile out of here, get rid of this countertop and also start trying to pull out that tub. Stella's here. I just went for a run and then I picked up Stella. And now we are just hanging out here a little bit. I was just looking for a sign that I had bought from her for her from Pottery Barn. I actually bought this back in February and I just never opened it because I realized I might be moving and I decided to save this. As you can hear, they are still doing the demo in my master bathroom. But yeah, I just wanted to peel the sticker off of this so I can see what it would look like in her room. I'm just kind of trying to plan out her room and see where things are gonna go. We can put this right here. Isn't that gorgeous, Stella? No. <laughs> bathroom demo day one the shower is out completely which is exciting and so is the tub so my new tub will be right here the old mirrors are out this countertop is gonna come off, paint these vanities. So you guys saw in my last vlog that the half bathroom is pretty much done. At this point, I'm already starting to decorate it. And one of the things that I wanted to get was some art for the wall. And I found this art online and I am in love with it. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. But unfortunately, you guys will see later on in the video that I actually decided not to keep this and I sent it back. But now that I'm watching this back, I'm just still not sure if I should have sent it back. But I just decided to send it back pretty 
pretty much because I felt like it didn't match with the rest of the house. But what do you guys think? Is it okay to have a bathroom that's completely different? And did you like this art? Let me know. Back upstairs, things were moving so quickly. The tile guys came in and they literally tiled the entire shower in one day, which was great. They made the little niche in the back of the shower, which is great because I can uh, put some products or whatever I need in the shower in that little cubby. And they did a really, really good job with this. There were a lot of things during the whole renovation process that I felt like weren't perfect, that could have been neater. But this is one of the things that I feel like was done perfectly. I love the tiles that I chose for the walls, this really nice gray marble. And I feel like it goes perfectly with the accent tile that I chose for the floor. So I was super happy with that. The next day they continued to renovate. And as you can see, there's this little wall between my toilet and my vanity and it stuck out a little bit. And as you can see here, we knocked that out and that actually created so much more space in the master bathroom. It makes it feel so much more open. I wish we could knock out the whole thing, but even just the amount that we took out made a big difference. And then they also started to finish the wall around the tub and patch that little wall up so that we could get ready to put everything back. Oh, you guys are just gonna paint the um this out like an outside or something? No, it's just um I don't oh, know for the floor. floor. Um it was there and then I need the drain for the second sink. Yeah. So when I go down I notice the drain is right there. Yeah. So I'll remove it because I need to put con concrete in here, fill it like that. Okay. And then I lay down the floor. Uh-huh. And then I put the cabinet back. Okay. All right. With everything moving quickly, it was time for me to start picking paint colors. As you can see, the floors are pretty much completely installed. We're just taking them up the walls now. And they also put in my countertops with two sinks now. There used to only be one, so I was really happy with this. And this is the same countertop that is throughout my entire house, in the kitchen, in the other bathroom, and also in here. And I was really just trying to figure out my paint colors. I'm so indecisive, and this was extremely hard but I'll list the colors that I chose below. They also started to put the flooring on the wall. This was the inspiration for that. My contractor actually gave me the idea. Then I saw that photo. As you can see, this is what it looked like complete. Things moved really fast with my half or with my master bathroom, I should say. And I think that was partly because I was like, I'm not paying any more until this gets done. Contractors can take a long time and just really go really slow. You have to put your foot down. And once I did Things moved a lot faster. He tiled the back wall. Well, the tilers came in and did that back wall right here above the vanity. I'm so glad I decided to do that last minute. It looked so, so, so nice. And my tub came in. This is what the tub looks like. And I was ecstatic when they installed this because this is something I was adamant about having. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now.
you guys how nice does this look i'm so happy that again i went with my gut and decided i want the tub i don't care how small or big it has to be and it actually is a really good size it doesn't feel small at all when you're in it they painted the vanity and they also painted the walls and i at first wasn't really sure about the colors but i actually love them now as you can see my bathroom fixtures are also in and besides the door the shower is pretty much complete what's up guys so we are in the last week of renovating thank god because i am ready to move in i'm ready for this to be done i'm ready to clean or get the place cleaned so it can just start feeling like home so i'm in my room now and i actually just remembered that the tub is currently not sitting where it's supposed to sit they'll be here in a second to put it back but basically when i came and saw that they had installed the tub i was so excited and i wanted to see how big it was because they always told me that it's kind of a small area to be putting a tub and i was like i don't care i want one anyway it's going to be big enough for me it's fine so i wanted to test it out and see if it was big enough for me so i tried to sit in it but they hadn't glued it down and it tipped just a little bit something happened with the plumbing line cracked water whatever so they had to kind of put this fan in here to dry out any water that got down there where the plumbing and stuff is the point is the tub was right here but they moved it over here just for a little while while they dried this out and this has been running all night long my mirror should be going up today and i'm also just going to update these recess lights to a more modern looking recess light i had a really hard time picking a color that would go well with the gray and with that i might change this later on because i'm still not 100 percent sold on the color that i chose but it was like okay we need a color we need a color so i just picked one and i had a hard time picking the vanity color as well but i really love the vanity color i think it looks nice i was gonna go with a dark color but i feel like i just like the light bright bathroom look so that's fine with me but yeah the last thing is the toilet needs to go in they have to fix a few things like that little gap right there just stuff like that but for the most part the bathroom is almost done i can't wait to see the mirrors up this bathroom was a huge transformation if you remember oh <laughs> what it looks like <laughs> you can go ahead i got caught vlogging oh i also went to home goods yesterday and i got so much stuff let's do a home goods haul actually but the rest of the stuff is downstairs but for now this is my filming room office you guys already know so i bought this painting right here i feel like all of these just match perfectly with what i was going for i want a very colorful office i am really colorful just in my heart i would decorate this whole place colorful but i want it to be more like okay you know stylish so i'm just gonna bring all the color to my office so i got this rug right here at home goods which i love i've seen this rug so many times and i'm so glad i was able to finally buy it because it matches perfectly with what i'm trying to do in here i'll show you guys some inspiration and then i also got this photo right here this painting right here this one is pretty big and it says what's meant for you won't pass you by i love that this one was 59 dollars. then i got this one it says what's stopping you and i just love the art it looks so good 39 dollars, and then this one says be bold also 39 dollars, and yes so i have literally been going to home goods every other day so these couple things that i'm going to show you weren't from yesterday's super successful home goods haul where i got those paintings and the rugs and all the other stuff i'm going to show you but i still wanted to show it to you anyway i got these last week i was shopping and i saw this and you know how they put these on the floor um like on the side of this thing so i got that and I got this as well. I don't know where any of these things are gonna go, but I just picked up basically things that I liked. There's gonna be tons of places for me to put decor, so I figured why not? And then the guy that was the manager of the store, he saw me with a bunch of gold and black stuff and he brought these to me from the back, which was so nice. I also don't know if I've updated you guys on the half bathroom, but here's what it looks like. It looks so good. I'm still obsessed with the wallpaper I chose. I love my wall fixtures. We have the black 
wainscoting down here we installed the vanity we installed my gold fixtures and then right here we're just changing the white outlet to a black one so that it blends in better and we did the same thing with the light switch installed a black one and we just have some touch-ups to do with the painting and i also got this from home goods i wanted a side table where i can put some things like things that guests might need when they come. I might put like some of those little floss pick things. You know, if you have a dinner party and people need to quickly come in here, floss a little bit, maybe a little mouthwash little thing. I'll put some black hand towels rolled up and stacked up in there. I can add some little plants. I actually bought a few things for it on my home goods run yesterday. So let's just hurry up and get to the haul so I can show you guys that. We still also haven't put the mirror in the half bathroom, but this is what it looks like. I'm obsessed with the mirror for that bathroom. I feel like it goes perfectly with the theme in there. Has some black on it, so nice. And I also got this at Home Goods. Here are the things that I got from Home Goods. We can start with this right here since it's already out. I got this painting. I was actually gonna make one of these. You guys have probably seen the DIY tutorials a million times. But then I saw this one and I'm like, it's the right colors. It goes definitely with the vibe that I'm creating in here. So when I saw this, I was like, perfect have to get that i also got a few frames for the half bathroom you guys might have saw that tiger picture that i bought for the bathroom but i just felt like it didn't exactly go and it was just throwing things off a little bit so i decided to get these gold frames instead and i can just add my own art and add it to the black area in the bathroom and then like i mentioned for that area in the half bathroom i found these these are some cotton balls right here and then we have some swabs for your ear and then I saw this which is so cute it has like hairpins and a box of hair ties I might end up using these when I run out but I thought that this was cute as well sometimes people are like oh do you have a hair tie or like you never know I just thought they were cute so I'm gonna put these on those shelves as well I also wanted to add some greenery to the shelving unit so I got this right here. I like that it had this part right here because I didn't want to add any more gold or black to the bathroom so I'm looking for more natural things to go with the vanity because it has that wood and I just wanted to add a little bit of natural elements so we got this plant this is for my bathroom upstairs I got these for the two drawer knobs then i found two lamps like this to go on the side table in my bedroom i feel like they look so nice and just different i don't know i wanted to have some lighting in my bedroom so that if i turn the lights off i can still have like a little side table light i didn't want a traditional lamp and i also didn't know if i wanted a floor lamp but these are so cute they almost don't even look like a lamp or lighting and then the last thing i got is this right here and i'm in love with it i actually saw this when i was in line you guys know when you're in line at home goods there are still so many good things you're like basically still shopping so i saw this this and I felt like it was perfect I think that it's good for like a console table and it has the dish so you can put like keys in here or something if you want or you can leave it empty but I thought that it would look so cool on a table with this painting right here so yeah just look at this it's so heavy I gotta put it down but um yeah that is pretty much it let's go put these stuff in the half bathroom so we can see what they look like i'm thinking that the plant would probably go on top and then we can add the cotton swabs and stuff right here or maybe we can put this here because i really want this one to have some black hand towels like rolled up you know and stacked up I don't know where I'm gonna put everything, but you guys get the idea. Just gotta find some art for this.
The shower door is about to go in. Oh my gosh. Pretty much wrapped up renovations on Friday. Then on Saturday, my contractor's wife came in and cleaned. She has her own cleaning service and they kind of do that complimentary when they do renovations. And then yesterday I had another cleaner come in and do a deep clean on the appliances and everything like that. And now I'm pretty much getting my shower doors installed, which is the last thing that needs to be done. There's a few little touch-ups that my contractor has to do. But other than that, we are pretty much done with renovations. So of course I'm gonna give you guys a walkthrough and show you everything, but for now, I'm waiting until they finish installing the door, then I'll show you guys. my renovation was pretty much wrapping up and I just could not help but start looking for decor pieces for the house as you guys saw with that home goods haul and one of the things that I found online I think I got this one from Overstock I'll link it below was this bathroom rug that matched perfectly with my bathroom and with my shower door installed I was so happy with how everything came together what's up guys so I have not talked to you in a little while because we completed the renovation about two weeks ago and I moved into my house and everything but I wanted to make sure that I had everything in this vlog before I officially ended it and today is the final day we are installing my new blinds so I'm really really excited everything has been looking so good in the house and we finished and I was like finally but the last last step that is really going to just take things up a notch is these blinds the other blinds looks kind of old and raggedy especially compared to everything else being so new so I feel like these blinds are going to be the cherry on top so I wanted zebra blinds and you'll see what those are today of course but right now well, let's go inside the guys just got here they brought in all the blinds and they're about to get ready to start installing so I'm gonna show you guys the process Just like that, this transformation is complete, so let's get into this renovated house tour.
as you guys can see i completely transformed this house into my home and i am in love with it i was already in love with the house when i first saw it just from the layout the floor plan how everything was set up i knew it was something that i was going to love once i put my own little touch on it and i was completely right i love the way everything came out my contractor overall did a great job of course everything is a learning experience so there are things that i would have done differently but overall i'm really happy with how everything came out i cannot wait to show you guys how i start decorating this home i know it looks like i've kind of done a lot already but this is just the beginning i really want to do more home content and show you how i bring all of these rooms together and really just go all the way in you guys know i have a lot of home content coming up my sleeve so if you want to see that definitely like this video so that i know that you're enjoying this content and let me know in the comments below what room you're excited to see me decorate the most thank you so much for following me along on this journey and for always supporting me here on my channel because i definitely would not be able to do this without each and every one of you don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you head out and i will see you in the next video Thank you.